presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you are learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 6, NASDAQ's off 168, S&P's down 30, gold contract flat, 1777 an ounce, silver flat, 2152 an ounce, light sweet crude down a buck 30, $85.62 a barrel, Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note trading up 21 ticks at 113.07. The 30-year up one point plus 29 ticks at 126.14. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 69 ticks, trading 106.335. The euro is at 103. The yen is at 139. The British pound is at 119 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We get a pullback. You get a pullback. Really light volume. No doubt about that. You know, if you just heard the update, the bottom line is that we went up uh, yesterday with 93 million. You're doing 41. We're going to do like 51 million. And the 51 million is going into 141 million. So uh, bottom line, you're going to need a lot more selling to get a pullback going. NDX 100, the same type of setup. You take a look at the NDX. NDX right now. Uh, three Qs, rather. Pull back, light volume. You'd be back uh, $0.36. Yesterday, we go higher with $73 million. You pull back with 30, 37 and you're coming into into uh, 66 And at the price point of three, $383, which we hit $384.60, then we're $384.90 right now, you have $99 million. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line. Sideways move out here. Uh, 187,000 contracts. Let's see what we did out here yesterday. Yeah, we go higher yesterday with 283,000. You're going low, 187. And you're coming into 306 at a price point of 1760, and we're at 1777. Now, King Dollar. This is going to be the tricky one, folks, okay? Because, so picture, we still have the spy on an ABC structure up. We're pulling back with lighter volume. But the way this dollar is trading right now, this is almost telling me that, you know what, man? This thing, you know, wants to bounce. I mean, we, we went straight down. I mean, the last leg down started at 113, and we hit 105 yesterday. So let's just take a look at this for a second. So if I take this. And I just want to see what this leg does here. So this leg here, if we did a 0.382, you get to 108, 328. It's a close call, man. And the reason that I'm basically bringing this up in particular, we know flat out if that dollar goes there, bottom line, markets are going to you know, pull back. Um, yeah, we'll see where it's going to go. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, some of the... Well, let's go to Target first. Target came out with numbers, nothing like Walmart, that's for sure. Target, you know, came down hard and fast. You're down $23 right now. Now, Target didn't break a swing point. There's a swing point on Target is 146. Now, it certainly came down like a monster. If you want to see, bottom line, 
you know, I talk a lot about if you're coming into a swing, how are you coming in? Well, this wasn't coming into the swing with volume. The swing out here on a daily had 9 million. You were coming into that yesterday with 8.6. And then it went down with 13 million. That's 177. And we got to 180. But we, hey, I want to see something. Oh, this is sick. Hey, watch this. This is, if you have my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, right? You know, I go through the aspect of, um, testing failures you know successes look at this so what did it close that close that 178.98 and the high was once uh, it, it closed a little bit over it but you can see what it did it, this was the test of this point yesterday it was really 13 million versus 8 million but it closed a little above it, it a, a true test you'd want that to close under 177.99 and we closed over that by yeah, by a buck, by 98 cents, so. Bottom line, now let's put this on a three-year to see what that's going against. Oh, it's a consolidation. Yeah, this is a consolidation, so it's gonna consolidate more. That's the bottom line, that's how that shakes out. Some of the other higher volume equities out here, we take a look at this market today, you got Carnival's down a buck 59, you got Amazon off 220, Advanced Micro's off four and a half dollars. You got uh, Target's the big one. You got uh, let's see, Coinbase. Oh man, look at this. Now, let's pull this up. This is just such a mess. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, folks. I, you know, every day you wake up. Yeah, Coinbase. This is going back downtown. If you haven't heard it yet, the bottom line is that you know, this morning. The, the thing that's interesting this morning. I had texted this over to Tommy. It says, you know, uh, bottom line is that Genesis was going down the tubes, right? And I was explaining to Tom that that's not the Winklevoss tri trip, kit twins, because that's Gemini. Well, bottom line, four hours later, Gemini basically stops letting people take money out. This is the, you know, the, Winkle, the Winklevoss twins. Uh, the bottom line, I mean, it, like, are you serious? So what that says to me that... You know, we went through this yesterday. I'm not going to keep going. But the bottom line is that every, every single one of these are scammed. This is, if the, so if you have to suspend redemptions and you can't do any more loans, they don't have the money. That's the bottom line. You give them money. They did a million different things with it. Doesn't have to, you know, but the bottom line is that they don't have any money, more money. So they're going south too. You know, we, we're going to, you just, yeah. I suspect the, the, the role, we know this from being in the market. Once the roll starts, right, it's heavier than we think. And, you know, there's the, I'm sure they're all hiding in the closets right now trying to figure out, oh, please don't make the run on me. Because as soon as they make the run, it's all, it's, and as our man Duffy says, it's done. I agree, it's done. I think it's done lock, stock, and barrel. I think you're not going to see anything a year and a half from now. It's just going to start. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow down 28, NASDAQ off 178, S&P's off 33. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 47. You get the NASDAQ off 187. SPs are off 35. We had a question that if you think crypto uh, you know, funds would be going to treasuries or gold, and I would say no, folks, because what happens normally is this. Well, first off, you got to get it out, right? Uh, but more so, what ends up happening is that when you take a hit like this, you just want cash, man. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna go from cash, and then go back into another market. It just doesn't, you know. If you've, you know, that's that's how it happens when you take hits. So, you know, we'll see where this goes. There's there's an article out here today that you know will AI save crypto, make it safer. The bottom line is that there's nothing wrong with blockchain. These are all frauds. They, these are just frauds that they got away with, man. Let's go take a look at Vista Gold. So Vista Gold took a hit out here today. It's crawling its way back. The, so Vista, the uh, bottom line, the low for the year is uh, 48 cents. That's today. The high is 112. And intraday, if you were in front of a machine, I saw when this was happening. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, it's in the range. You know, it, it came down. The swing point here was 48.51. We hit 48.02. Um, and I can show you. And what, this is what ends up happening. If you own Vista Gold, right? And I own a lot of it, folks, okay? And I've owned it for a long time, and I've traded it in a whole ball of wax, right? So what happens is that you can't go out here. Let me show you what happened here. And, you know, because I, I actually said this to Fred when I've interviewed him, the CEO of it. His market maker, you know, bottom line is a crook. That's, that's the real bottom line. I mean, market maker is supposed to be able to hold the market. He doesn't, or she doesn't, whatever it is. It's not even close. But it was at 11.49, was this one right here. You can see the bottom line is that the amount of shares that got pushed across, they did it at the exact same time. And I've got in and out of, you know, let's say some days I can get in and out of from 40,000 to 60,000 shares, all right? And if you do it right, you don't even move the stock. And this person, I think, had about 80,000. They just didn't do it right, man. They just like, per turned around and just kept saying, sell, sell, sell. And, he got the, the market maker get out of the way. That's what ended up happening. So, you know, I've seen it before. We'll see what ends up happening. You know, um, you know you're back inside the range again. We, you know, not that it's big. I mean, it started out this morning at uh, 58, 59 cents, and we're at 53, which is a lot for that stock, that's for sure. So we'll see how it shakes out. But it, it, <laughs> it, <laughs> it, Jacob upstairs said to me, what the heck just happened to Vista Gold? You know, exactly. Good old VGZ, I know. Um, this dollar, man, this is going to be so interesting. And, and, and so 
the interest that when you hear me, you know, kind of saying out here is it's like, okay, man, we're going to watch this doll like a hawk because, yeah, the first day the pullback was a light volume, but is it going to get bigger? Let's go take a look at uh, TGB. This is Taseco. You know, this, isn't, this is a personality stock in spades. Um, now, this stock has had an amazing run, okay? Well, here, let me, let me give you some numbers on it. So the low, the low on this equity is 89 cents. The high is 240. This is a company, a monster uh, copper company. They've taken 401 million um, and, you know, next year they plan on making money. They've had, uh, anyway, so we take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is a good pullback. You know, meaning, meaning when I say a good pullback, this still wants higher price. You know, I mean, last two weeks it went from, what is it, 90, yeah, it went from 97 cents to a buck 45. You're pulling back with light volume. Yeah, this, this wants higher price. I might. It might take this kind of minute. This is building cost to get to 175. The uh, WMC, let's just go see. Wal well, his Walmart crushed it yesterday. And this is where you're going to see differentials that are coming in. Yeah, this is this. Walmart continues one higher price, man. That's how this is set up. Uh, we take a look at Walmart. Yeah. You know, it's going to go right for the highs again. Um, what we do have, let me pull this up. One of the advanced auto parts, man. I don't know what the heck happened with this thing. This thing is like, what's interesting about this is that you don't have O'Reilly going down in advanced auto parts. Let's see, so the low is today, 150. The high is 244. Let's see what they have to say out here. So, interesting, man. Yeah, let's, they, they missed earnings. Um, they missed their estimates. What's so intriguing about this is that normally what ends up happening is that, you know, advanced auto, I mean, O'Reilly would go with it, but O'Reilly's at all-time highs, man. And this is going to look like, it looks like O'Reilly's going to put them out of business. Yeah. I mean, 143 is game here. We're 156, but you can see that. Now, now you know what's so intriguing here, you know, ye the aspect, this was sticking out like a sore thumb, man. This was just too much volume, meaning from 164 to 143. So that's what it's trying to do right now. That's, that's exactly what it's trying to do. Uh, let's go to a couple of the oil folks. Okay, Valero first. So you get Valero Energy. Let me put this on a weekly. So this is the distiller. Yeah, I mean, if you own this, I'd get rid of it, man. I'll, I'm telling you, all these energies, man, they're... They're topping out, so I, I I understand the you know the amount of money you made is great, and you know like Valero in the last uh, eight weeks it went from ninety seven dollars to one thirty five. Okay, you can look at it. You're going into yeah, watch this. You're going into forty six million shares. Last week we did eighteen million, and this week we're only we're at twelve. So it's only Tuesday anyway, right? Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. So yeah, this is. This is going to be a big consolidation. That's how this is shaking out. Uh, we go to the OIH. We take a look at the OIH. Three seventeen. Anything under three seventeen, it wants lower price. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so this is subtle, but this is cool, man. Watch this. So we hit a high on the OIH with seven hundred million shares, right? The next day, you did 790. Now, this is what's subtle, right? See the next day? The next day here, we actually went to a lower low with 878 million versus 790. That's the stuff that, if you want to get it to price and volume, that's the stuff you got to wrap your head around because those are the clues that are telling you that you have a seller. High of 700. And 94, the day before is 670, and that's the clue there. But that's not the only clue. Watch this. See when it came down oh, last week? It came down 1.3 million. See when it made that's, and then we go up with 700,000. No. They're trying to, they, when you have distribution, okay, the, the, the folks, and I've done it. I've done it, man. The, the bottom line, if I get a big position, I just take my time and you put it out there. And, and, and with 
folks understand how to just feed that thing very slowly, okay, you can keep prices up for a long period of time. You know, you, you can't let someone catch on that you're going to be moving out 50, 60,000 shares, okay? Bottom line is that that's, you know, that's funds up there. My take, that's funds up there moving slow positions out. Now, what will happen, no, this is good. So let's do this, okay. Let me just go to ExxonMobil for a second. Because what's going on also is that the 13Fs have been coming out. So the 13Fs are telling us, okay, do you have buyers or do you have sellers? Now, this is still going back three months. No, it's going back with November. This is the September deal. So stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 21. NASDAQ is off 181. And the S&Ps are off 31. Let's go take a look at the, let's see the indice volume out here. I suspect that's going to be week two. And so indice volume, oh, man, look at this. We want higher price, man. So indice volume, here's the NYSE, 490 million. And we at, uh, what, 330? Yeah. That means it's going to do less than a billion shares today. And if we look at the composite, so composite right now is 3.5. And we did 5.5 yesterday. You can see this, is, this says we want higher price, man. And then that's also saying... When you put this together that, you know, somehow this dollar, uh, you know, looks that it wouldn't want higher price. Now, that being still said, the way this thing is laying here, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. But the good news is that if you are looking for a higher market, it looks to me like we're still going to have a higher market. We'll see how that dollar shakes out. But when the, the volume is contracting this much, it's a big deal. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs because what's happening out here now is that now you have... 
you know, Amazon laying off huge amounts of people. Now they're laying it. This is where this gets interesting, right? And this is how time always goes forward, folks, okay? They are laying off people that are inside the, um, the things portion of Amazon, meaning, you know, your um, devices, okay? Um, let's see what they have to say. But, okay, so uh, Amazon, let's see. No one is safe. Uh, so wrote an Amazon employee on the internal chat room as the company began a large lay layoffs in its history. Uh, device chief Dave Lamp in a note to the team yesterday said the firings pained him. He pledged severance pay payments for people who can't find other jobs inside the company. But many recipients of his note was li that little consolidation. I mean, consolation. Yeah, I mean, it, you're talking about, but the, the, the parts that they're laying off, and this is where, here it is here. The Seattle company plans to cut 10,000 jobs the deepest such retrenchment since the dot-com bust 20 years ago. Um, the, the way they're going to be is this. They're going to be in the Alexis. They're going to be in the smart speaker. You know, um, the bottom line is that you, you're going to see. This is the stuff that what, what I've see, found is this, is that like when you're promoting things, so you get new products, right? The bottom line is that, yeah, you have the expansion of the product. Then it's like other products keep, keep, keep up with you. And then all of a sudden, okay, well, then now what do we do? Well, the bottom line is that, you know, they will get rid of folks in the parts of the business that are not expanding. And I suspect that's what's going on there. You know, because you look at Amazon, Amazon's chat's been bad for a while. Um, we take it, we look at it a weekly, and you know, I'm sure you remember me saying so many times, Amazon, folks, is the hottest stock to buy in pullbacks. You know, it seems like every single time that it pulls back, just as this time, like it's never going to stop going down, and then all of a sudden it doubles in price again. In Amazon's case here, if I put this on a monthly, okay, so this came down to 85. You're at 96. Yeah, it closes. I mean, that's the high volume low, man. You have two. The the, the real. I mean, there's two different things. Let me go through this slowly. Okay. So first, you have the high volume low. The high volume low price. The volume is 3.1 billion. We came down with 1.3 billion so far this month. Last month, you did 1.4. So you can see that you don't have a lot of sellers, okay? That's the first part. That's, so the top of that bar, the top of the low bar is $88.91. Okay, so we're over that, right? What, what, I, what I'm explaining here is where you actually want it to be over, and it's higher. It's 101, it's 102. And the, the reason is this. I said, watch this. So we came down and rejected it, right? Now it's over it. That's good. That's great. But the larger range is 10166. Now you get to 10166, guess what, man? Game on again. That's how this shakes out. That's how it works. You know, this is a natural retracement. And, you know, bottom line, we'll see where it shakes out, you know. Um, but that's how that baby's set up. Let's go to Microsoft and take a look at Microsoft because these big dogs, you know, um, every time I hear that, no, text, you know, done forever, it's like, are oh, you out of your mind, man? I mean, because <laughs> I've heard it like three or four different times. You always, you, it seems when tech does get hit, man, it gets hit in an incredible way. And I, I don't quite understand why people think tech's done. I mean, tech's just started. <laughs> so when you take a look at Microsoft, Last month we did 671 million at 390. And they're coming into 760. This is a close call, man. I mean, Microsoft has to get over, well, it did. It's got over 232. So if you're over 232, it can go to a higher price. Um, that's how that baby shakes out. So we'll see how that works out. We go take a look at the, let's go to the GDX and take a look at some of these gold equities.
Because if you're in this market, you know, bottom line is it just, it's a little heads up. You know, we, we've, some of these equities, like if we look at it, you know, uh, Manico, I mean, uh, Anglo Shanti, uh, you know, you're going to see this thing was up 50% in like eight days. You know, so you take a look at this and it's like, okay, you know, yeah, 10 trading days ago, it's at 12.69. It goes all the way up to 18.41. You know, you don't have volume out here today. So looking at this, is looking at me, I'm saying to myself, you know what? This can pull back to 16.45 in a heartbeat. And then if we just take, yeah, 16.14 is a 0.382, you know. So I, it, looks, it looks to me like a few of these are going to pull back. That's the bottom line, you know. And, it's, and, I, and I don't mean to get you confused out here because we are pulling back with light volume, but that dollar is worrying me right now. That's 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 the bottom line. That dollar, go over to that dollar again, because that dollar, it just because it's gone down so fast. You know, this can throw a wrench really quick, man. You're down a buck eighty. See where we close out here. Yeah, it's interesting. So, wow. Well, yeah, we're, we're under, look at this. We're, under, we're underneath it right now by 60 ticks. Because if you close here, it's good, man. That's, so, we'll just wait for it to close. Because the benchmark there is 106.281. You know? And I suspect, you know, that bottom, that baby does want to get down to lower prices. Now, let's go take a look at uh, Caterpillar, Deer. Uh, what we have out here at Caterpillar. This has been 100% move or move. Caterpillar in the two months went from 160 to 231. <laughs> if, you've never, if you haven't been in commodity stocks, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line is that you don't stay in them forever, but, boy, they're, they're great little stocks to deal with. Now, look at Caterpillar. Caterpillar, you know, what's cool about Caterpillar? Caterpillar wants to go break this high of uh, 246. That's, that's what it's, that's setting up. As soon as we come back, folks, I had a, a couple tigers asking because um, I was explaining that I, I feel like this is the run from the 2002 to the 2011 run, and I'm going to bring up the dollar when I actually started the gold report and show you uh, what happened then. Dow, Dow is down 40, Nasdaq's off 187, S&P's off 33. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at this good old dollar. So, here we go. We put this baby up, and we got to bring this back. Bring it back 30 years. Okay. So, <clears throat> what you can see here, I started the gold report right here. Actually, right here. Yeah, 2001. So, the dollar was at 121. And at that particular point, gold was at 252.50. Um, 282. The low is 252. I get into 282. So you can see, you know, the bottom line is that we went up, we had a test. Let me open this up a little bit. A little bit. So 2001, you're at 121. You get down to 112, you come back up to 120, and then it just blows apart. And when it does that, you know, you can see it's very quickly. Now let's do this. Let me see what this did, because this is... Yeah, look at that. It did more. It almost did 100% move of a move. You know, it would have to get a lot higher. But, you know, bottom line, it came down. Now, if you go this way, watch this. So if we take this and then we look at the move that it's had, right? I'm going to bring this closer to us so you can see this. I was going to put it on a 10-year. So then you take what we've done, and let's just start at the bottom, and you can see you're just approaching a 0.382. So, you know, you'd have to break the, 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 now, this is really cool, man. I'm glad I, you had me looking at this dollar like this, okay? And the reason being is this. So a 0.382 retracement is a normal retracement in a bull market. So I can definitely see why there's plenty of other, you know, technical analysis people that think that, hey, the dollar's gonna go higher, right? So, you know, we'll see. What I wanna get across to you right here is that if you break the pre-8382, you're not only going to the 5.0, you can get all the way down to the bottom. Because what ends up happening is that what you have here is that, that this is a whole trading range. That's how that's set up. Now, let's show this, because this is my take where we're going. We're going to 101. That's my, my larger take. And the reason being is that when you take a look at this, you're going to see that that's a decisive break. I mean, that's, if that's not a break with conviction, and this is, well, that's, oh, this is even better. That's, that's 95. This is, you know, we might get a small bounce, but this doll is done, man. You know, that, that's how it looks to me. You get, if you get a small bounce, you know, the first time on the daily, we, we did a Bud Rolf's perfect, you know, right up to the, the trend line, and then it gave it up. And watch this. Whoops. Do that one again. But, you, you, you know, we, hey, we, might, we might do that again. But, but the bottom line is that my take is that this thing's done. And what that would be saying is that, yeah, we went up in the rates first. We went up faster. We went up furious. 
um, you know, they'll, they, they, they're going to keep these rates here for a while. Now, this, this rate is not just going to flip all the way back down. It's just not how things work, folks, you know. Um, but that's the bottom line, you know. If we go take a look at, uh, I think we just looked at Caterpillar. That's what I looked at. Cat Caterpillar is going higher. Cat if you missed it, Caterpillar is pushing its highs with volume on the monthly, and that's saying that we're going to take out those highs. You know, we got, you only need, you need 103 million. Last month we did, well, 69. It's going to need more volume, but I suspect that's going right after its highs. That's how it looks to me. Uh, if we look at deer, deer set up, trading 406, 405. Look at how long it's been up here. Wow. Yeah, it's the same. Hey, it wants to go to its highs also. So this will be really intriguing. The revenue out of there, the next time they come out, well, they're going to be coming out pretty soon. Is that the 18th? Oh, 23rd. So they're coming out the 23rd of November. They're going to be looking to take $13.4 billion in the top line and uh, seven ten the bottom line. Apple, we go over to Apple, we take a look at Apple. I'll put this in a weekly. It's still in the consolidation. Oh, I see it's holding up. Look at this. That's what's holding up. This is cool. All the way there. You know, the, your benchmark is at 137. Um, as long as you don't get under 137, you're all right. That's what it looks like. You know, 129 is the swing. But if you get under 137, get out of the way, man. You know, I, listen, Apple, well, that's, that's pretty good volume. 182. Yeah. There's, there's not a lot here right now. You know, you, you're in a small consolidation. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, what did happen, uh, and you might have missed it, is that the only reason I, I saw it is because the, I'm basically looking for a couple computers for, you know, the, the company. And it was the first time that Max, you know, they, Apple has a small business, you know, like, Departments, that's what they do. And that was the first time, this happened two days ago, they were actually given 10% off max. And it was the first, you know, that's the, that's the bottom line. It's like, okay, you're really getting a discount. Now, the, the problem, of course, with max is that they're so expensive compared to, you know, you know a Microsoft, uh, you know, computer, a, a Google computer, you know, the, the Hewlett Hill package, just the different devices. That's what I'm speaking more than anything. Um, you know, so... We'll see if that's, you know, I just, well, you know, we won't see. I suspect what that's about is that, yeah, they're slowing down because the, Apple doesn't discount. And, you know, they, they were discounting. So it makes a difference. Now, let's get over to the euro and take a look at the euro because the, it's a direct inverse correlation of the dollar. Yeah, see this euro. Euro looks like it wants high. This is. Look at that. The, the euro did a 0.76 of the move down, and that's saying it's strong. You know, if we go to the yen, we take a look at the yen for all of us in the gold market. The, the, yen, the yen is what moved gold, folks. The yen's looking good for us. You know, the yen, I mean, it was that monster move. I want to see the yen get inside. It's just barely inside it right now. Get inside the 139.38. Because if it gets in once inside the, let's, uh, let's call it, 138.50 or something. And that's a kind of a point away. Because if it gets inside that, that's another range. The lower range of that is 130. And when you're looking at markets, folks, ranges are really important. They are what they are. I mean, and it's so bizarre because it's like, why are they important? I don't know. But I know if you go inside the higher range, you're going to go higher. You go inside the lower range, guess what? You're going lower. They're like, they're both like magnets. That's what it comes down to. And then they establish another range. The Dow's up seven, the Nasdaq's down 150, S&P's off 25. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 18, down 6, down 147. S&P's off 24. Um, <laughs> you know, it's so weird, folks. It's almost like these, these crypto firms just wait for me to be on the air because what just happened is we were talking about black block five yesterday well they just went bankrupt that's just coming across the thing but just count them down man you know first they say we're all right then they say we gotta stop redemptions then they say okay we're bankrupt okay one two three bing 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 pretty amazing volume out here is gonna be soft man so that's saying that we still want higher price we go take a look at the spy spies pull back today you know, you got light volume, man. I mean, you had 52 million shares. Yesterday we did uh, 93. We take a look at the queues, same type of setup. So you don't, you do not have vol sellers here, man. That's, you know, to get the lower price, you need a lot of sellers. And and the queues, you're at uh, 42 million. You go higher yesterday with 73. You're coming into 66 as well as you're coming into 99. You know, so we'll see, and yeah, there's a lot of support here, man. There's definitely a lot of support. And we'll see where the uh, the note and bond market goes. The note, the note market right now, if we take a look at this 10-year, what you're going to see with the 10-year is that, you know, it's holding price. You get 1.4 million contracts traded. Let me see if we're working with the same. I hope we're working with the same contract. We, we may be, though. Right here. So you're coming in with 1.8. You've got 1.4. That was one push. It's gonna need. It's not even more volume. It's going to the swing. So the swing point in the ten year. This is gonna be important, folks. Is the one thirteen thirty. Because the reason that's so important 
If this is going to stall, it's going to be at that level because that two different things end up happening. This is really cool. You have the swing point at that level and your point three eight two is at that level. You know, so the way you gauge this is that you're going to look and you're going to want volume of 1.7 to 1.8 million contracts. And we only did 1.4 today. So that's, that's the heads up, man, in space. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.